for joining me today. It is Wednesday, so I am back to doing my Facebook Live cooking demonstrations for the Accidental Chef, the Accidental Vegan Chef. Sorry, I was away last week. I was in Chicago working at WGN Radio, which was a huge thrill to be back on air. Mwah! I love you, WGN Radio. It was great to do my awesome vegan stuff on WGN, so big fat thank you to them. Okay, end of August, end of summer, no, no, but it's back to school as we all know, so I thought I would give one last hurrah to summer. Today I'm making my version of vegan ice cream. Okay, so the reason I say my version is because it's not exactly ice cream. I'm sure there is a technical definition of ice cream. Mine is not it. I think you have, need to really aerate it and uh, work with a blender and really get it um, mixed with lots of air so it can remain creamy. Well, as you guys know, I do things that are easy. I am the accidental vegan chef, so I keep it easy and I keep it really simple. So I don't do that long work that you have to do for ice cream. I keep it simple and this is what I do. Now the trick to this is coconut cream. So I have here coconut milk and that's an accident, people. You really want coconut cream, so just as you would expect, very creamy, very rich, much more so than almond milk or oat milk or anything like that. So I do coconut cream and I throw that in the blender. So here we go. Just the sound of that is even good. You heard that big splash, it sounds refreshing. Okay, then I think you guys probably know this. The easiest way to get something close to ice cream is frozen bananas. So take lots of bananas. Okay, fine. But what's wrong with these bananas? These bananas aren't brown enough. You want your bananas super brown, disgustingly brown, the kind of brown that no one will eat except you and me. So you can maybe see here I froze them. I waited till my bananas got super, super brown, basically pure sugar. Yay! And then I froze them and then I chopped them up. So here we have super brown, can you see, can you see? Super brown bananas and in they go. Okay, awesome. Then as you can see here, I take strawberries and I freeze those as well. So here I'm gonna dice up my strawberries. They are frozen and now they are going into the blender just like I did with the bananas. So, so far we have coconut cream and we have frozen bananas, basically frozen sugar, which is so awesome. And then we have my frozen strawberries, which I'm just gonna throw in in just a second. So usually it depends on how tart you like your quote unquote ice cream. So if you like it really tart, then add more. And if you like it less tart, then add less. So I usually do five really plump frozen strawberries but of course you could do six or you could do four. Remember, we're not working off a strict regime here. You kind of do to your taste. And what's great about that is the more you kind of cook to your taste, the more you get just used to being around food. And you see how easy and how simple and how there's no one magic and there's no one way of doing things <laughs> except to spill your strawberries everywhere, which, um, hey, would be my forte. Okay, so I've got in my big, fat, five plump frozen strawberries. And now I'm going to get myself, ta-da! Okay, so then I take, who doesn't love bananas and peanut butter? Now a little word to the wise here. This is what my peanut butter's got going on. Are you ready? Ingredients, peanuts, contains 1% or less of salt. That's it, I got peanuts, I got salt. All right, so that's how I roll. So usually what I do is I take an entire can of coconut cream, but this time, since I made half of it last night so I could show you the finished product, I only put in half of a can of cream. So I'm only putting in one tablespoon of peanut butter today, but in the original recipe that you'll see on my website, I now have a new website page, yay! It took me forever to get that up, but I do have it, elizabethalfano.com. So in the actual recipe, you'll see two tablespoons of peanut butter, a full can of coconut cream, and like four to eight strawberries, depending on how you want it, so how tart you want it. So today we did five. Okay, so we got our peanut butter, we got our bananas, we got our strawberries, we got our coconut cream. Then of course, I mean, what's the point, people, without maple syrup? I live next to Costco, therefore it's maple syrup for a lifetime for me. 
And again, depends on how sweet you want it or how tart you want it. I will like my stuff sweet, as you guys know by now. So I'm gonna put in three tablespoons of maple syrup. I did not say this was low cal. All I said was it was ice cream, so cut me some slack. All right, so I'm going for three. Ain't no shame in this game. I like sugar, I can't help it, whoa. So what I try to do is not get overzealous and do like three huge heaping tablespoons. I just try to do three regular ones, but sometimes I can't help myself. All right, so there's three. And then, honestly, I think that's it. Now sometimes I like to roll the dice and you know make, make something different. So sometimes I'll throw in coconut flakes. Sometimes I'll even throw in raw oats if I want it to be sort of crunchy. But I think the best thing about ice cream is that really smooth, luxurious feel on your tongue. So lots of times I don't do that. But if you are somebody who wants to kind of shake it up and do something different, you can also soak the coconut cream in chia seeds and then you'll have that sort of bulbous chia feeling into your ice cream. Ice cream. Okay, but for today's purposes, we're not doing that. We're just keeping it simple. And I have my ingredients in the blender. So now you'll notice that I didn't put any ice cubes or anything like that in it because my bananas are frozen and my strawberries are frozen. So that's enough for me. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Let's do a little bit more, shall we? Uh-oh, uh-oh. I think I just blew up my blender. Okay, I did, it's smoking. <laughs> I'll have to tell Ken when he gets home, but that's okay. So my blender just died, but it did enough for today's lesson, if you will. So, all right, so now I'm just going to take this and I'm gonna put it in Tupperware, hold on. So now I'm just gonna pour it into something that I can put in the freezer. Weird that I just lost my blender. Holy cow, people. Holy cow, okay. So I'm just gonna put this, gosh, this looks good, and I can smell the peanut butter, so I love that. Um, let's see if I can, I hate to waste anything. As a kid, I licked every bowl there was. And I've never really gotten over that habit. <laughs> I won't lick the bowl on this show, but you know what I mean when I say I don't like to let anything go to waste. All right, so I'm skimming the bowl here. Put that in my handy dandy sink. And that's really it, people. Mm-hmm. Gosh darn it. All right, that's awesome. So what I'll do is I'll just take this and I'll put it in the freezer. Tomorrow, I'll have ice cream. But, I, in anticipation, I did that last night so that I could show you what my ice cream looks like day of. So, I put a little bit of mint right there just because I like the smell of mint and so I kind of want it to perfume and be around. So when I serve it, I put some mint on it and this is my banana strawberry peanut butter ice cream that I made last night and today in anticipation of you guys. So I'm just still a little frozen, which is good. Ooh, here it goes. Mmm. See, the coconut cream really makes a difference, and it's a very easy way, without a lot of time made creating real official ice cream. Uh, you get a really creamy, I'll, I'll call it a sort of sorbet ice cream. Mm, I know. Mm. I'll call it a frozen treat. Eh, not so exciting. It's easier to just say my version of ice cream and I have to say I'm just gonna keep eating this because I really like it. Mm. It's so great when you like your own cooking. Okay, I know we have lots more to talk about but I think I'm gonna eat instead. I want to thank everybody for your patience. I'm sorry I wasn't here last week. Mm. If you want the full recipe of this or anything else, just hit up my website, Elizabeth, that's kind of funny with a Y and an S, spelled differently, 
elizabethalfano.com. I have all my recipes there, and then of course I have all my awesome vegans interviews there, and I got some stuff about rocking it as you age as a vegan, how to stay young looking, because vegans do that just so well. And uh, just generally, I got lots of stuff on that site. So go to that, and then of course, next Wednesday, I'll be back, but I'll start to do fall recipes. So this is my last hurrah for summer. I'm gonna get back to eating my ice cream. Bye everybody, see you next week. Don't forget to be vegan.